and then they will say, Oh, I don't have work experience. However, during NYSC or during national service, you worked somewhere. Okay, so today we are going to be discussing no work experience yet. Alright? No work experience yet. So, is study abroad really feasible for you? <laughs> there are lots of people who seemingly don't have work experience right so i'm going to categorize these people into two these are people who truly 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 do not have any work experience then the second set of people are people who they have work experience but they think they do not have work experience where do you think you fall under of course, there are so many other people that have work experience. So this video may not be for you, but if you listen, perhaps you can grab something. All right? Okay? So we are looking at if you don't have work experience, whether it's seemingly so or actually so, can you still relocate abroad? And the answer is yes, yes, yes. So let's start with people who truly do not have work experience. You just graduated. You have not worked anywhere. But you want to go for your master's abroad boom or you have even finished your master's and you want to go for a phd but you've not worked somewhere boom many people fear that they don't have work experience please if you're one of those persons can you come and say i don't have work experience yet or i think i don't have work experience yet but i've worked somewhere <laughs> okay so one thing i want to tell you is that most schools abroad do not make work experience compulsory for either masters or even for phd or for postgraduate diploma for that matter right provided you're a graduate that's usually the uh that's usually let me say the the stumbling block you have to cross are you a graduate or you are not provided you're a graduate you can apply to study abroad you can get admission you can get full scholarship yes 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 i said that you can get full scholarship you can relocate and Continue with your master's, continue with your studies, and you can even end up working abroad once you start studying abroad, right? So, the, the miscon uh, um, misconception there is that people believe that, oh, I don't have work experience, so I cannot study abroad. Let me first get work experience. I want you to know that if you don't have work experience, still go ahead to start your study abroad plans. You can get admission without work experience. Now, the second set of people are, are, that I talked about are people who think they don't have work experience, but they, but they actually have work experience. This is where most of the people who tell me that they don't, work, they don't have work experience, this is where they fall under. Okay? So, uh, let's do a little test as we are doing this video. I'm going to call out the answers. If you believe you don't have work experience, can you type? If you type, then I'm going to call your name and I'm going to ask you a follow-up question. All right, and we're going to discover that a lot of people who say they don't have work experience actually have work experience. It's just that it has not come in the format they know, so they believe they don't have work experience. All right, so uh, 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 okay, somebody asked a question which I think it will be good to address it before I move on. The person said, If you don't have work experience, how do you actually apply for study abroad? My dear, you're in the right place. One thing I want you to do is you, you uh, there are three steps you should follow number one you attend our study uh, you attend our webinar you register and attend for our webinar uh, attend our webinar at www.advantagemigration.ca www.advantagemigration.ca you complete the webinar you check your eligibility provided you're eligible if you check your eligibility and you're eligible what we are telling you is that we know this will work for you some people make the mistake of completing the webinar without checking their eligibility. I think this is a huge mistake. Even if you think you're eligible, check your eligibility. All right? So, you complete the webinar, you check your eligibility. If you're eligible, then you execute with us. Those are the three steps. Those are the three steps I want you to follow. So, for somebody that asked me that question, I hope you've gotten your answer. Now, let's look at people who seemingly do not have work experience, but they do. All right, so we have somebody who has um, open livelihood. Are you there? There are, uh, there are others. So, uh, if you, especially let's say, let's talk about 
Nigerians and Ghanaians. That one I'm very sure of. Other countries, you may be able to tell me if that thing is approach, if it's feasible in your country or not. All right. In Nigeria, there is something we call NYSC or National Service. In Ghana, there is something we call National Service. All right. Which means a graduate get to serve their country for one year, and usually the country we we send you to a place to go there and work right do you know that is work experience many people make the worst mistake they will just say nyc one year this is what they have on their cv and then they will say oh i don't have work experience however during nyc or during national service you worked somewhere what you really need to do is to tell us the name of the organization you worked the roles you have to perform while you were doing it and tell us what from what time to what time you worked there boom and you already have one year work experience minimum some uh, okay i have a response that said in rwanda that happens as well please what is it called in rwanda if you're watching me right now from any of the african countries and i have not called the name of your country can you tell me if there is national service or the equivalent of NYC or national service in your country. So now we know that it happens in Rwanda as well. It happens in Ghana. It happens in Nigeria. What other country? Does this happen in Cameroon? Does this happen in Sierra Leone? Does this happen in Liberia? You know, does this happen in uh, Zambia, in Zimbabwe, in South Africa? Uh, does this happen in Tanzania? Please talk to me. Does it happen in your country? Let's see. Who are those commenting? You will see that in a lot of the countries, right? A graduates, fresh graduates, get to be sent somewhere to, be, to work by their country. Most people who do this don't call it work. On their CV, it is written NYSC. It's written in National Service. And the problem is that if you are talking to somebody in your country, they will understand you. But if you're talking to somebody in Canada, such a thing does not exist. So they don't know what you're talking about. In US, such a thing does not exist. So they don't know what you're talking about. In UK, such a thing does not exist. So they don't know what you're talking about. Do you see? So it's a communication problem. You have work experience, but you're not communicating it right. So, so uh, the person, uh, Derek, thank you so much for commenting. He said, in Rwanda, it's called Itorero. Or oh, and the uh, Uru Guerrero, <laughs> I have to learn this thing. So, <laughs> Itorero, okay, good, thank you so much. Itorero, I have to write it down, please. One moment, <laughs> Itorero, and I may not even be pronouncing it well. Uru, Uru Guerrero, learning, <laughs> okay. What other country? Tell me. What are, let's see who has commented. So it happens in different countries, my dear. The point is this. You probably already have one year work experience that you have not been fleshing out on your CV. Alright? That you've not been fleshing out. So I want you to know that there are ways. Ad advantage migration, right? These are some of the things we teach you, but we even go further away. Work with you so that if you have questions, if you have, you ask, say, okay, how can I position this? I did this. Can it serve as work? This, that, you know, you can ask all of that question. We guide you exactly on how to do it. There are so many other things. I have just mentioned work experience. There are so many other things you should be putting on your CV that you probably don't know right now, and you have. That's the problem. You have it, but you don't know about them. This is why I'm asking you start with our free webinar after that check your eligibility then execute with us and let's guide you so that you can succeed. Okay? So if you are if you've been worried you don't have work experience, you don't have work experience, you don't have work experience, fear no more because people like you who do not have work experience, right? Are getting admission, are getting scholarship, are getting study loan to relocate abroad and study and live there happily ever after, if they wish to do so. Others do and come home to their country willingly, not because they were forced to do so. Okay, so this will work for you. 
What experience should not hinder you? What question will you like me to answer for you? What question will you like me to, uh, to answer for you? Tell me, concerning this topic. Oh, no work experience and getting a uh, getting a scholarship or admission abroad without work experience. Let's see. Can comment your question, please. Can... Okay, somebody said, "How do I get study loan? I already have an offer for MSc. You are coming to us too late, so we always want you to start with us, and then we can guide you how to do it. All right." Uh, that let's see. Someone has said, uh, "Can an international student work outside campus? Depending on the country, look at the rules and regulation of the country and follow it. Look at the rules and regulation of the country. Most countries, when they give you study permit and give you work permit, they will tell you the rules and regulation. So it's not a one size fits all. Look at the rules and regulation that was given to you and follow it. Okay. Let's look at." Okay. Uh, somebody said, what if you don't have NYC certificate here, but there's handwork? Do you mean you have done NYC, but you don't have NYC certificate? What is actually your question? Because I already told you that even people that have never worked before can relocate abroad. I know people that did that, right? So when you say, what about if you don't have NYC certificate, you're not being specific but have handwork do you mean you're not a graduate do you mean you have graduated you've not done nyc do you mean you graduated you've done nyc but no nyc certificate you see the question can mean different things and i don't want to be guessing please be specific with your question another person said without work experience is the study visa sure you can never say study visa is sure if you truly know what you are doing you can never say study visa is sure <laughs> and what i mean by that as even as somebody that have been guiding people, is that there's no such thing as guaranteed visa. Even if somebody tell you that they're just lying, they're just lying to you, except you don't want to hear the truth. But I'm telling you that without work visa, you can relocate. That's what I'm telling you. So when you say without work visa, work experience, is the study visa sure? What you are trying to do is say that work experience is the only thing required to get study visa. And it is not. So it doesn't mean that if you go and fix work experience, now you are guaranteed to study this. What if you are applying to the wrong admission? How will you do it? What if you go and apply for the wrong program? What if your account statement is, uh, doesn't have money or is fake document? Do you get my point? So you can't just say, work visa, you don't have work experience, visa is guaranteed or visa is sure. That is something somebody that is trying to lick your Botox is going to tell you. Definitely, it's not me, right? <laughs> it's not me. So, uh, we'll just tell you the truth. Those that don't like truth, that want to be burnt by fake people, they will go test it and then they will come back. Okay. Let's see. Let's see questions. So I say I have HND. Which school in Canada can I, can admit me? And like how much? Please start with our free study abroad webinar. That is how you should start. Start with our free study abroad webinar, complete the webinar, check eligibility. After that, execute with us. As somebody that have HND, can you work with us? The answer is yes. The school, how much you have jumped the gun? You've jumped the gun. Which course? So how do you even know the school? If you, if, for example, you don't even know the course you are going to study. You probably know the course you studied, but you don't know the course you are going to study. So how do you find the school that have it? All schools don't have the same courses. It's not like your country where an average university offer all the programs. Right? <laughs> I, I totally understand because most times if somebody is going to ask questions, they will think of what happens in their what happened in their country and they will use it. Right? They will use it as like, okay, this is also hard thing should be happening. But you don't realize sometimes that it is different. It is different. <laughs> All right, let's get more questions. Let's see, let's see.
Okay. Does your CGPA affect scholarship, please? Your CGP affects scholarship. How? But because based on your CGPA, it will determine the kind of program or the kind of scholarship you apply for. So your CGPA does not prevent you from getting scholarship. It just changes the scholarship you'll be applying for. So there are different scholarships uh, that are available for people with different CGPA. Okay? Yeah. I think I'll answer some questions. So I'm going to ask you today to, if you know anybody who wants to relocate abroad, but they don't have work experience yet, or they've been worried about work experience, I want you to do one thing for me, I want, or for them, actually. I want you to tag them to this video, or send the link of this video to them, so that they will benefit from this knowledge, okay? You've listened, so get paid forward by sending the link to somebody or tagging the person so that they too will hear the information especially if they don't have work experience okay all right take good care of yourself till i see you again <laughs>